Welcome back guys to Build Love Repeat. It's good to be back again. It's sunny outside, it's a good mood, it's springtime. So it's time to get on a build. Uh, in this episode, as you probably noticed, it will be about the motorcycle. Those who are following me on Instagram knows that I and my brother, we built it a couple of years ago, a cool Honda Cafe Racer. It was uh, totally rebuilt. So here's some pictures of it. It was super classic. And there is also a cool story about this motorcycle. It's time to hit the streets with a motorcycle this season. So let's begin the preparations for technical inspection. So grab a snack. Enjoy the episode. Okay guys, so I'm still working on the motorcycle, unfortunately it didn't start it yet, there's pretty much all gasoline in the tank, so uh, now I'm trying to get rid of it, I hope this will work, I also will check uh, spark plugs, maybe spark plugs are bad ones, uh, I'm not sure, I don't think so, because with the starting gas it almost uh, fired it up, so not only the battery should be changed, also the gasoline should be changed. <music> Alright, looks like everything is working now and the issue was the bad gas. Now I will open up the gates and fire up properly. Okay, so motorcycle is firing up. One thing is uh, I need to adjust the carburetors definitely. Unfortunately, I'm not 100% sure how to do it, so I will go to my buddy who knows how to do it, and actually he did a weeks ago uh, pretty much the same motorcycle. It was uh, revving up super smooth, super nice. I actually liked, so I decided to hit him a message, and he said, just bring me the bike, and I will do all the things which I need to do with the carburetors. It's fired up, so uh, the issue was the bad gas. And now it's time to order some uh, goodies like oil and oil filter because definitely it needs to be changed because this was staying for three years. Also I need to find all the things which I need to install for uh, technical inspections like this uh, weird tail. This number plate is located here, uh, it should be there. So that's why I need to find all these things, uh, mirrors, of course muffler should be changed. A lot of things need to be changed, also I need to find a horn. So yeah, let's jump on the web, try to find all the goodies which I miss.
Actually, I found some uh, motor oil, uh, new bottle of motor oil uh, on a shelf. This actually, by uh, what internet is saying, is produced for Ferrari Mondial. It's still a classic car. I think this will uh, perfectly fit for the classic motorcycle. But still, the first oil which I showed uh, works pretty well. Uh, I filled the motorcycle with it uh, last time. Why need to purchase an extra oil uh, if you have uh, half of amount on shelf? and uh, it's staying there for a couple of years also it's uh, this bottle was super dusty and with dead flies so i decided to run with this we'll see what will happen but i think nothing bad can happen if you use this oil especially if it's for ferrari maybe motorcycle will go faster our little helper all right so it's the next day and i already got the oil which i miss so filter so if you're looking for a filter for your Honda, this will be a correct for CB750. This uh, model HF401 is the right one. So uh, I will start with the oil tank. I will drain it from here. Then we have a filter here. I also need to undo the filter and another drain plug is at the bottom of the engine. So let's drain all the oil and then move forward. Alright, so while oil is getting drained from the engine, let's uh, prepare the oil filter housing for the installment. Here I will start prepare oil housing for the installation. So as we started with the cleaning, don't forget to change this o-ring here on this uh, bolt which holds housing because maybe you, maybe at first you don't think that this should be removed. Yes, it must be removed. Change this sealing ring. Yeah, don't forget to lube before you install. You can use your finger, lube the ring. So here it is. I will add some extra bit. Push it, fix. Don't forget about the spring. Clean your rubber sealing for the housing. Also use some oil. You can dip actually. Maybe it's too much, but not a big deal. So now, oil filter. I think there is no any kind of directions how to install it because uh, our oil flows through it from the inside, so there's no flow directions. So I will install it with the, the numbers heading upwards. Let's lube ceilings here, screw it in, and here it goes and uh, you are ready to install. All right, after you torque down all your oil drain plugs and the oil filter housing, you are ready to fill up the oil into the oil tank. Okay, so I filled up engine with the oil and everything now is in a right level. At the beginning oil didn't flow into the engine for some reason, I didn't know. I tried to use a kickstart that actually helped a bit. After I added additional oil into the oil tank, I was able to use electric starter to make a flow of oil faster, push for a couple times and then the oil pressure indicator turned off. So I fired up the engine, run it for a couple minutes and then switched off and then added more oil into the oil tank and leave it for now. When everything will be completed, I will start it up, run it a couple minutes to warm up and then check uh, oil level again. If needed, I will add some more. For now, I can say that the oil change is completed and I can move forward to the next steps.
looks like I am finished for today because soldering hammer for some reason just died. It's heating up but not enough to do a soldering job to finish the connector for the tail light. And this will be an end of an episode. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content about motorcycles, something new on the channel, hit the like button. And of course, consider to subscribe because you will help me to deliver my videos to appropriate audience. Thanks for watching. See you next one.